Hello friends, it is me yet again, Tanner Guse. Uh, so yeah, this video is called The Time I Met a Grey Alien. And uh, I've held off, I've held off on uh, making this video for almost four years uh, because uh, I've been afraid of the gray aliens. <laughs> So I've recently uh, learned that uh, the greys are now gone, the grey aliens. And if you, uh, you know, if you're still being abducted by aliens, uh, please write something in the comments just to let me know. But according to um, a contactee uh, named Elena Danan, I just watched this uh, interview with her with... Um, Laura Eisenhower and Danny Henderson. But she's a contactee. Uh, she says that the greys are now completely gone. And this this has been confirmed by other um, contactees like Alex Collier, who says that all of the, the regressive aliens are now gone. They've been either eliminated uh, or they've been captured. And that would include, uh, you know, the reptilians, the gray aliens with the big heads and the big black eyes, um, various other regressive aliens, um, you know, I think the, the red-haired uh, Syrians, uh, they're evil um, from either A or B, I forget which planet or which system. There's a whole host of them. There's like different kinds of gray aliens of different heights. There's the mantis uh, aliens, um, what David uh, Jacob calls the insectolins. Uh, you know, there's a whole um, spectrum of, of different uh, different bad guys, and there's also um, an AI system that inhabits uh, a lot of these uh, regressive aliens. So yeah, anyways, um, uh, I made another video uh, almost four years ago about um, the gray aliens and um, let me just uh, quickly find it here okay so here it is it's called um, here it is 5g being used to root out human uh, imposter aliens so there I am um, so I, I made this video about almost four years ago and literally less than two hours after posting that video, a gray alien actually appeared in my room. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> obviously I got their attention and I don't think it was very happy with me. And what it looked like was this thing right here. So yeah, let me just... Uh, Oops, sorry. It's not... <laughs> That's what it looked like. It looked very similar to that. So, uh, really, like, the way it happened is I posted the video, and then uh, less than two hours later, uh, this thing appears. And the, the way it appeared is that I was looking... Well, I was laying on a bed in a, in a bedroom in the basement of a large house, and no one else was in that house. I was just renting this room. I had just moved to the U.S. from Canada. And, uh, you know, I'm laying on the bed staring at the ceiling. And this thing comes through the ceiling. Like, just its, its face, like, comes through the ceiling. And its, its face is right above mine. You know, I'm staring right at it. And, uh, you know, it, its face comes through and then it stops. And then it just sits there for, like, maybe five or six seconds you know and uh it was looking at me and uh my impression was that it was like trying to assess if i was a threat or not uh but you know i don't really know if that was its intention like when i first saw it i wasn't afraid but i was apprehensive there was this sort of like um this unspoken apprehension like i was I was curious as to like what its intentions were like not afraid but just more like in a tense sort of a, a tense situation you know I was ready to defend myself if I had to but 
you know, I don't know what I would have done or whatever, but it just sort of seemed like it was scanning my brain or something to see if I was a threat or not. And I think it tr determined that I wasn't a threat and it, it disappeared uh, the same way, you know, slowly into the ceiling. And another uh, possibility was that maybe it wasn't scanning my mind to see if I was a threat or not. Maybe it was just, maybe that was, it was just a message. It was just giving a message uh, to tell me to be quiet, you know, don't uh, rock the boat, uh, you know, don't, um, you know, what you, what you spoke about is uh, off limits or, or something like that. You know, it's, it was an, it could have been an intimidation uh, tactic of some kind to scare me and get me to shut up. And it worked. Uh, <laughs> I haven't, I've deliberately not spoken about this since because I didn't want to piss them off because, you know, I'm not sure uh, what these things would do to me if I really did piss them off. Um, and I have to say that I'm not an alien abductee. I've never been abducted by aliens. I've never had t missing time episodes. I've never had bizarre dreams. Well, actually I have, but had, but uh, not of the kind that abductees talk about where they're being, where they're on a table and they're being like probed and messed with and like, you know, all that kind of weird stuff. I've never had uh, bizarre like scars or injuries that appear. I've never felt any weird like implants that move around or anything like that. Uh, yeah. So yeah, so I'm not an abductee. This was the first time I've ever met an alien and the last time, so far at least. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to mention that. And uh, so these things are not even, they're not around anymore. They've all been captured or killed. So I'm posting this video again uh, because I feel um, safe enough to do so now without having to fear uh, for any possible repercussions from these uh, evil, malevolent, sinister creatures, genetically engineered um, abominations, really, is what they really are. Uh, yeah, so... Um, Beyond that, like I could talk about like what I talked about on that video of mine, but you know it's pretty dark stuff, and I don't know like even if I don't piss off the gray aliens, like maybe I piss off what's what remains of the deep state. So you know I don't want the men in black showing up or some other um, government, you know, FBI agents or whoever the hell, <laughs> you know I I don't want. Uh, to have my life screwed with in any way. So that's why I'm not going to talk about what I spoke about on that uh, video. But if you're curious, uh, you know, feel free to watch it. Um, I lay it all out there. You know, I've, I've been interested in aliens since I was a little kid. I mean, I knew uh, from about the age of seven that there were um, extraterrestrials in the universe. And, uh, you know, I was actually... Um, kind of resentful of my classmates in school in elementary because I knew that none of them had a clue about anything really and ironically it's still kind of similar I mean you know most people are the, are the normies as they're called uh, you know who don't still don't realize what's really going on you know how extraterrestrials have been here all along and uh, you know are living amongst us and uh, you know just the bigger reality, how everything's being controlled. The economic system is uh, being controlled and um, that's why the standard of living keeps going down, uh, you know, as inflation increases and, uh, you know, people are just getting poorer and poorer and this is causing all kinds of problems. Uh, you know, the, the, the birth rate and the marriage rate keeps going down and that's one reason, uh, the main reason really why that's happening. You know, everyone wants to blame uh, feminism or all these other reasons, which might be contributing factors, but they're, they're, they're a much lesser, you know, they're like a tiny uh, factor 
in what's to what's involved uh you know so yeah i mean i could i could ramble on endlessly about all of this stuff but uh if i say too much they will um remove this uh video they youtube already censors my comments and they've uh demonetized me um quite a while ago so you know if i say too much they will get rid of my channel so uh you know i recommend um people to just um pay attention to other sources or maybe i'll make some more videos and post them on to different platforms like uh, bitshoot or brighteon and uh, really speak my mind there because uh you know i feel like i have lots to say you know i've been researching aliens for like 25 years so i really have a huge um database of information and i rarely uh get to talk about it because i have i've made no friends here uh well one friend in the u.s so far who i can talk to about aliens and whatnot but really uh you know i left most of my friends in canada when i came here and so yeah i'm kind of like the lone ranger really <laughs> for now at least uh that'll change but uh for the next year or two or so um i'm sort of isolated but um yeah anyways i'm rambling so i guess i'll just end it uh thanks for watching and i will see you all again next time bye for now